Let, let's go with <laughs> let's go with a two thousand, and we'll take a guess. Are we out of here? so mushy. It is mushy, right? It is mushy. Alright, so I, I got a ring in my pocket. I'll be right, I'll be right back. <laughs> right? Alright, All right, and, and go ahead and you guys introduce yourselves to everybody so they know who you are. Oh yeah, okay, here you go. I'm Patrick. Okay, that's the groom. And it's my halfy? Yes. My halfy? Okay, alright. My halfy? Yeah. I'll have to get married. <laughs> Are you ready, Biggie, as the best man? Yes, okay. we are prepared. Right. We are ready. All right, I'm going to go. I, I got this. I hope this is the right one that you had picked out, Biggie. Now, because because there are uh, uh, just two of them, they're, we're, Beaver and I are going to walk down the aisle, and then they'll walk behind us, and then we'll stop down there, and then you start your ceremony. Got it. To the music. Got it. So me, me and you first, <laughs> and then they go behind us. join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is commended to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and solemnly. Into this holy estate these two persons present now come to be joined. If any person could show just cause why they may not be joined together, let them speak now or forever. Hold their peace. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm telling him to not do that. Sorry. No, no, I was going to say, uh -uh. So uh, that's why I'm we're here. <laughs> Marriage is a union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind. It is intended for their mutual joy and for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity. But more importantly, it is a means through which a stable and loving environment may be attained. Through marriage, Patrick and Heather make a commitment together to face their disappointments, embrace, the, embrace their dreams, realize their hopes, and accept each other's failures. Patrick and Heather will promise one another to aspire to these ideals throughout their lives together through mutual understanding, openness, and sensitivity to each other. Who gives the bride? The beaver and I do. You know, I'd like to tell a little story about my grandparents. They were married for over a half a century and played their own special game from time to time when they had met each other. The goal of the game was really simple. It was to write the word Shmiley in a surprise place for the other person to find. They took turns leaving Shmiley around the house. Uh, sometimes they'd discover it in one weird spot and then discover it in another. They dragged Shmiley with their fingers through the sugar container to wait for whoever was preparing the next meal. They smeared it in the dew on the windows overlooking the patio where my grandma always fell at us homemade pudding. Shmiley was written in the steam on the mirror after a hot shower where it would be reappearing bath after bath after bath. At one point, my grandmother unrolled an entire roll of toilet paper to leave Shmiley at the very last sheet, only to roll it back up so my grandfather would find it. There was no end to Shmiley where it would pop up. Little notes with Shmiley scribbled on them were found on car seats or taped on the steering wheel. Notes were stuffed inside shoes, left under pillows, in, in gifts. Smiley was written in the dust on the mantle and traced in the ashes of the fireplace. The mysterious word was such a part of my grandparents' house as furniture was. It was everywhere. Grandma and Grandpa held hands every chance they could. They finished each other's sentences and shared the daily crossword puzzle. My grandmother whispered to me about how cute my grandpa was. The man she met on a blind date, how handsome an old man he had grown to be. Before every meal, they bowed heads, gave thanks, marveling at the blessings of their wonderful family and the good fortune, and of course, each other. But there was a dark cloud on my grandparents' life. My grandmother, she had cancer. The disease had appeared ten years earlier, and at the time, I remembered that she painted her room yellow. 
With a yellow room, she explained, uh, there would always be surrounded by sunshine, even if she was too sick to go outside and enjoy it. With the help of a cane and my grandfather's steady hand, they still went to church every morning. Uh, but my grandmother, she got sicker and weaker until she knew she could not leave the house anymore. For a while, Grandpa would go to church alone. He'd go pray to God and to watch over his wife. Then one day, what we dreaded all happened. What we dreaded to happen happened. My grandmother was gone. Smiley, it was scrawled in yellow on the pink ribbons of my grandmother's funeral bouquet. As the crowd thinned and the last mourners turned to leave, my aunts, uncles, cousins, and other family members gathered around Grandma one last time. Grandpa stepped up to my grandmother's casket and taking a shaky breath in hand, he began to sing to her. It was, it was fantastic. Through his tears and grief, the song came a deep and throat lullaby. I really couldn't make it out completely, but I knew he was singing to her. Shaking with my own sorrow, I'll never forget that moment. I knew that although I couldn't begin to fathom the depth of their love, I'd been privileged to witness it in unmatched beauty. beauty. And with his final note, he fingered the words S-H-I-M-L-Y in the casket. See how much I love you. I, Patrick, you're going to repeat after me, Patrick. Are you ready? I, Patrick, I, Patrick, take you, Heather, take you, Heather, to be my lawfully wedded wife, be my lawfully wedded wife, my constant friend, my constant friend, my faithful partner, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward, my love from this day forward, in the presence of God, in the presence of God, the Big Mad Morning Show, the Big Mad Morning Show, and friends. And Marines, and Marines, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health. I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. And in joy as well as, well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To listen to the Big Mad Morning Show on 97.5 KMOD every day. To always listen to the Big Mad Morning Show on 97.5 KMOD every day. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. And cry with you. And cry with you. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you as long as we both shall live. You may place your ring on her finger. after me. I, Heather, I, Heather, take you, Patrick, take you, Patrick, to be my lawfully wedded husband, to be my lawfully wedded husband, my constant friend, my constant friend, my faithful partner, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward, and my love from this day forward, in the presence of God, in the presence of God, the Big Mad Morning Show, the Big Mad Morning Show, the Marines, the Marines, and of course all these listeners, and all these listeners, I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And in joy as well as in sorrow. And in joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I promise to love you unconditionally. To support you in your goals. To support you in your goals. To honor and respect you. To honor and respect you. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To cry with you. With you. To accept that you poop with the door open. <laughs> to accept that you do poop with the door open sometimes. <laughs> and to listen to the Big Mad Morning Show on 97.5 KMOD forever. <laughs> and to listen to the Big Mad Morning Show on 97.5 KMOD forever. And to listen to the Big Mad Morning Show on 97.5 KMOD forever. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And to cherish you for as long as we both shall live. You may place your ring on his finger. Oh, it's got the tag on it. <laughs> it's got the tag on it. That's fantastic. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. That's all right. Don't worry about it. We can fix that later. Yeah. We'll edit that out. He's got <laughs> you have pronounced yourselves husband and wife, but remember to always be each other's best friend. Patrick, you may now kiss your bride. I now pronounce you man and wife. May your days be good and long upon the earth. It's my pleasure to announce for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Haffery.